Here is a remote control lawnmower that I was able to build with the help of some good friends of mine in my garage using some box tubing steel, a welder, a cutter, and just some old motors off of a retired power wheelchair along with a BattleBot controller I ordered online. And although it looks complicated, it was actually quite easy to build and works incredibly well. Since this was my first attempt at it, I just used a lawnmower that was given to me by my father, which was a regular pull start 22 inch mower. Now that I have the frame working and everything works the way I want it, I'm going to retire this mower and put it back together as a regular push mower again and go out and buy an electric start push mower. That way I can do this 100% on my own. I won't have to bother anyone to pull start the lawnmower for me. I'll be able to just turn the key and I'll be off and running, able to cut my own grass independently. As you can see, not only was I able to turn my lawnmower into an accessible tool allowing me to cut my grass, it's actually more of a game now and a lot of fun. Not only that, but the looks on people's faces when they drive by and see me cutting my grass from my wheelchair, either sitting in the shade of my garage or even inside of my living room behind the glass windows in the air conditioning so I don't get overheated, is definitely priceless. So if you're curious about building your own remote control lawnmower, they're pretty easy to come by how-to instructions. Just Google remote control lawnmower how-to and a couple of pages will come up with some really good information. And now the controllers that they have available are very simple plug and play. There's no, no need to have experience in electronics. There's no programming involved. You simply connect the wires to the proper slot, turn it on, and adjust it to your remote control, and you're, you're ready to go within a few minutes of powering the unit up. So there's nothing really difficult as long as you can read and understand the instructions. It's rather simple.
As always, thanks for watching and tune in next time for more videos on adaptive tools I make to help make my life a little more accessible as a quadriplegic, allowing me to conquer daily tasks that I've come across in my life. So until then, if you want to change something in your current situation, the best time to start is today.